Hey, what's up, visionaries? Welcome back to the Arc Vision Fam Jam. My name's Anton. Hopefully, all of you guys are having a fantastic day because it is our Kelly Clarkson My December full album reaction period. We are on song at number nine. And today's song is requested by Lizza. She wanted this exact live version. Um, and yeah, Paul also had a uh, had a suggestion, but it wasn't a professional quality. Sorry, Paul. You know, you know that. And uh, yeah, so we're doing the maybe uh, AOL sessions, which have been phenomenal so far. And um, yeah, even like our Hear Me AOL session on um, Breakaway was just impeccable. I think it was, it was a different uh, set. Uh, but anyway, so far, top three on this record are number three, Never Again, number two, Haunted, and number one, of course, Sober, because Sober is incredible. And yeah. Um, also, just know that I've created a like a chat area for you guys, a Discord channel in the Discord uh, for the My December full album reaction. So you guys can share all your excitement and have fun and, and talk about the album and how much you love it and stuff over there. I know how important it is to you guys to, you know, have a place to be excited, you know. And um, yeah, so I'm going to create that for you. Definitely check it out. It will be gone when this full album reaction period is over will be replaced by the new full album reaction periods album of the month and uh, also before we get into this i do want to say you guys rock yes you and if you are really resonating with the channel definitely smash the like button on this video it really helps the youtube algorithm and definitely uh, subscribe and join the family if you are resonating like i said with everything we're doing on the channel and um also if you want to support the channel and request songs and albums like my December for us to react to, definitely join the Patreon and leave your request there. And as always, shout out to my patrons. Thank you guys so much for all love and all the support. And thank you for keeping this dream, this vision of mine alive and, you know, helping me do this full time pretty soon for you guys, which will give me some needed balance into my life and um, potentially put my kids through college one day. So thank you in advance. And um, as always, keep the song requests coming. And lastly, if you guys want to check out um, the Discord, hang out with myself and the entire ArcVision community. We are on Discord, link down below. And if you want to check out my podcast and get your hands on official merchandise, links to those down below as well. And that's it. So without further ado, let's get into Kelly Clarkson, maybe. One thing I think I think the thing I love most about Kelly, um, or one of the many things I love about Kelly, is um, just her, just her honesty to herself, man. Um, I, I didn't realize until I heard this song, but I find like this song is just so like honest and like because a lot of you know a lot of her songs is she'll talk about you know the things she's you know pissed off with, she'll talk about things she's you know unhappy with, but rarely have do I remember kind of being hit with like her set you know her brutal honesty about how difficult it can be loving her but and at the same time realizing how beautiful the person she is like i love how one second she's saying it's hard to live with me and the next second she's saying but if you stick through like i'm lovely you know what i mean and i love that it's that natural duality i love that that you know accurate self-reflection um you know, it's needed. She is. She's she's a firecracker. Kelly is a powerful energy. She's not someone that another kind of firecracker can be around because they'll butt heads, you know. She's strong. And but you know, she has a sensitive side too, like a very sensitive side. And you know, she's a dynamic person. And 
again, you know, one of the things that I kind of relate to her with, right, is that, you know, I kind of see myself in a similar way. I have a very kind of type A personality. I'm very driven, but, you know, I really like to just settle down to, I really like just quiet time. I, I, I like reflecting. I like the kind of quiet moments in life a lot more than the, it's like, it's almost like all my, my fire gives me the space to just kind of be water in a sense. I earn it, you know, so that when I am just, you know, when I have someone lying in my arms or whatever, I can just sit still because I know I've done enough. I know I've, you know, done what I need to do that day, what, what I need to do that week, take care of all you guys and, you know, give you the content that you guys have come to expect and, you know, give you guys my all. And yeah, I just yeah, love that about Kelly, just her, uh, her honesty, you know, it's extremely refreshing. To have someone who will just, yeah, be honest and not be, yeah, I know there's, there's something also nice about being around people like this because you don't have to walk on eggshells. You don't have to live a lie. You don't have to, you know, because sometimes, you know, when you're around people, it's just like you just feel like you're walking on eggshells. Like there's the truth right there. There's, there's authenticity in the room, but they're just like blind to it and they're they're doing everything they can not to just look you in the eyes and just be with you because being with you would uncover all of the shit they're trying to hide from themselves where i love someone like kelly because like you can just look in her eyes she's like she will look you dead in the eyes she's not afraid of that she's not afraid of connection because she she's you know bared her soul anyway to herself and you know that's a beautiful thing so anyway let's get back into it Let me maybe
That was amazing. I love that. That is number two for me. 100%. Oh, man, that is fantastic. I, I love the vibe of this song. And, you know, this this song... Yeah, there was so much wisdom in this song. Yeah, the whole theme of it was just that one line. Um, was I don't need to be found because I'm not lost, and I just, I just, you know, just love me. You know, she kind of hit the uh, the nail on the head. She she hit the um, the question. Or the, the statement we all want to hear. It's just like, I love you. And like, mean it, you know? I feel like, you know, we, we throw around the word love so often that it, it becomes worthless. It becomes nothing. It's just like, it is literally just a sound coming out of our mouths at that point. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't like, you know, when you, know, when you like peck someone on the cheek before you're going out, like you see in like movies all the time and stuff. And like, you know, you just, you know, peck your spouse on the cheek, say, I love you and run out. Like <laughs> what? You know what I mean? Like, did you look them in the eyes? Did you, did you actually, were you present with them when you said that? Like, were you present with yourself when you, when you, when you said that, did you feel what you just said? Like, I feel like so much of the time, like love, when we say, I love you, it doesn't mean anything like, and, and at the same time, like when we say, I love you, it should mean less than we want and more at the same time, like, like, lo like saying, I love you to someone is a weird thing because oddly enough, we think we want to be told that we're loved for a reason. Like we want to be told, Oh, you know, I love you because you know, you're great at this. You're great at that. You're like all these things. It's like, we think we want that. We think we want someone who notices what we're good at. Right. But that's actually not what we want because the problem with being loved for everything you're good at is what I said in the last video, then you become terrified of those things ever, you know, not being true. Like every single thing someone can say they love you for will be gone. Someone says they love you for your intelligence. What happens if you get Alzheimer's? Someone says they love you for your beauty. What happens when you get old? You know, someone says they love you for your fire. What happens when you, you, you know, you age and you, you calm down. You know what I mean? Like everything that is a reason for why someone can love us is one more condition for why we're not enough just at our at our our base, our essence, our core. And that, you know, what she said was dead right. Like, I'm not lost like I'm not lost is one thing. And I don't need to be anything. And it's like, I just want you to love me. And that was a simple statement. I just want to be loved as I am. All of my flaws, all of my strengths, it doesn't matter. You know, I just want you to see me. You know, I think I think that's the thing we're looking for. We just want to be seen. We want someone to gaze into our eyes and just be at peace with what we see in each other. You know, as she said, she, she she's she's honest. She'll tell you what she's afraid of. She'll like Kelly will tell like she's so honest. That's why I love her. That's why you all love her too is that she's just, she's, she's here, you know, she's present with us and we're rarely present with ourselves and we're, rare, and we're rarely present with each other. And yeah, yeah, this song kind of in a weird, in and in a, in a lot of wisdom, yeah, tackles the exact thing we all want is just to be accepted as we are at our at our core you know our core essence not for any reason in particular yeah because like if you if you love someone's essence you know and the thing is like you know again kind of like what we said in another video like you you don't have to be together forever like some relationships are not meant to last they're meant to teach you something they're meant to push you to grow and then so that you can meet the person you're going to be with forever, right? And that's fine. Like someone can love you and leave. You know what I mean? That's fine. As long as the leaving is done out of love. You know, like we said in that other video, like, no, you can be seen, accepted, and loved 
and both of you know that you know it's time to walk on and hopefully you can re remain as friends um i know the most beautiful relationships i've witnessed are when um you know a couple leaves out of love and they and they stay best friends because like after you've shared that much with someone like they're going to be some of the best friends you've ever had even even if it's no longer sexual or intimate because it actually will be intimate just not sexually intimate it'll be you know a, a, a friendship kind of intimacy and and you know we always say like oh you know that that's unfair to your new partner that's all like that's fucked up that's that you shouldn't have that it's like i think that's bullshit i think that i i think we put too many labels on life i think we put too many labels on relationships i think we we treat each other as property we don't give each other freedom we you know we hold each other in prisons that we've created for each other and it's fucked if you tell someone they can't be friends with someone that they've maybe shared 10 years of their lives with, that they've been through our times, that they've they've been there for each other, and you're going to deny that person of, you know, a potentially incredible friend because you're insecure, because you think they're going to, like, you know, cheat on you with that person again. It's like, if you are, if you're that insecure, and if you don't trust them that much, you don't love them, period. You don't see them. Because if you looked in their eyes, you'd see the truth. You know who they are. You know how they feel. You know, when you really are present with someone, you can't hide shit, you know? And, you know, that's just my perspective. I could be wrong, but I'm definitely not someone who believes in in kind of imprisoning people into relationships. And, you know, my number one thing is communication and honesty. Be honest and... Yeah, just love each other for as long as there is love um you know you know have sexual intimacy for as long as there's the capacity for sexual intimacy um and don't hold on to something that is fleeting you know like i said some love stays forever and some love is just meant to be here for a certain time period like, just be in the moment and enjoy the time together while you have it. Because you never know if one of you is going to pass away. You don't know if, you know, the Reaper will take, you know, one of your lives. Um, you know, it's happened before. Like, you know, my mom's friend Diane, she met um, Clyde when she was 50 years old. And they uh, they were together. They were you know, she, she said it was the best relationship she's ever been in in her entire life. She she found the one. You know, she said that. She's like, we just were perfect for each other. We had lived our entire lives searching for each other. And we finally found each other. And, you know, we both were whole by ourselves. We didn't require each other. That's what was so beautiful about it. You know, we lived so much of life. And we learned so many lessons. We learned so much about ourselves. And after we learned so much about ourselves, we could come together and share each other, share ourselves with each other. And um, he died of cancer a year after they met. They only had one year together. And both of them thought it was the best year of their entire lives. Like, what is that? And she, she, you know, she firmly believes, she's like, that's the way it was meant to be. You know, she believes there's like a soul contract, you know, coming into this world that they were going to spend, you know, their entire lives apart, come together for a beautiful year to be reminded of what life can be, to be reminded of what love can be. Because she was abused in her previous relationship. It was very abusive for her. I think she was in a relationship for 30 years. Um, yeah, really abusive, emotionally abusive. And, you know, she met Clyde and she kind of had hope again. She kind of was like, this is what love can be. And he passed on. And then now she's with uh, my mom's friend, Jack. And, you know, they're together now. And yeah, and she's doing big things in the world. She has like her own podcast. She, you know, wants to start like a TV channel and stuff. She's a very powerful human being, Diane is. And um, 
But yeah, some things just are not meant to last. It's almost out of a movie, eh? So yeah, just because you... Uh, and that's something I have to I have to really kind of take in myself too, because I do not expect people to die like that. Like that would blindside me like completely. But anyway, um, I thought this was brilliant. I just love this kind of hopeful, honest message of this one. In this in this otherwise very dark and frustrated, angry record, I think that having a song like this is just required to give more depth to the darkness when it comes back because ho like hopefully we get back into some you know these kind of dark thoughts and stuff because we know or we hope you know that she gets through it right that's the beauty in the darkness is that we know what you can become on the other side but anyway this is probably i think this is number two i still think sober just musically sober is just incredible but this might be tied for number one too. Like I find this and sober like neck and neck. Like they're that close. Uh, what do you think of this one? Is this in your top three? Is this like number two with me, um, or is this number one? I know this would be number one for some of you. Like this is a great song, and a great performance too. Just you know, seeing it in your eyes, you know. And um, also let me know what you thought of this one in the YouTube comment section, and also in the Discord, like I mentioned before. And um, if you guys are still around here listen to me jabber definitely uh smash the like button that really helps the youtube algorithm and um yeah if you resonate with the channel definitely subscribe we'd love to have you around and if you want to support the channel in a big way and request songs and albums like my december for us to react to at the same time definitely join the patreon leave your request there shout out to my patrons thank you guys for keeping this uh this dream this vision of mine alive and thanks for uh, being part of this you know it's incredible and as always keep the song requests coming and lastly, if you want to check out the Discord, if you want to hang out with myself and the entire Arcvision community, Discord, link down below. And if you want to check out my podcast and get your hands on official merchandise, link down below. And that's it. So I'll see all of you guys again tomorrow. I love you. Peace.